Hey everyone, so I got asked at the very beginning, I said I would try to remember to take a video at finishing a warp. So I have finished my tablet woven band. This is how to finish a warp so that it doesn't unravel. So I have my weft thread, buckle weft thread coming across, thread it through just like normal, nothing different. Take a second piece. Now this is just a piece of the same stuff. It's probably eight inches long, fold it in half so you have a little loop. Take your loop and tuck it through so that it sits next to your actual weft thread. Got a loop sitting there. Turn your cards. Turn your cards. Pack both of those pieces in. So your loop is sitting there. Leave your loop alone. Take your weft. Go the other way. Take another little loop, pack it way down in there, turn your cards, pack, 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 pack. See the little tail loops coming off of each side. Um, you do kind of want to watch your weft, they tend to get a little loose and funky sometimes doing this. So you have to kind of watch your edges to make sure your weft still stays nice and tight. Pass it again. Another little loop. Doing the exact same thing here. I'm leaving the tails out one side and the loop out the other. Mm -hmm. Same thing. This is like the uh, beginning of the project where I've gotten told they hold better with odd numbers, so I do them with odd numbers. Um, this one happens to have five. So either three or five is usually what I do. And again, so depending upon exactly which side you started your thread on, you might have to pass your weft twice to get it back to the side where your last loop is sticking out. So here's my weft. Nice long weft coming out. Pass it back through. This is normal. Here's where it gets a little funky. Your top loop, the last loop you put in, slide your weft through that loop. Got it? It's going through the loop. On the other side, take the two tails that go to that loop. Here's the loop, here's the two tails, and pull that loop out which pulls your weft thread back through your band. You have just now locked that in one layer. Your weft thread now is going up over and then coming back and down and inside this row. We're going to do the exact same thing. Take the weft thread. Watch this edge. Make sure you don't end up with some funny bulges here. Tuck it through the loops. Pull it the other way. Make sure you hold both ends of your loops when you're pulling these out. Make sure you don't just grab one side and let it unravel in there. Not saying that's the voice of experience, but it's certainly annoying when it happens. Passing again. Going the other way. See, each time I'm just pulling those tails all the way through. And up, and one last time through that loop, and out the other side. And what you have now is now your weft is all the way down here. It's like a half inch in from the edge of the band. You can trim that flat. And now, cut your band. This will not unravel now. This is not a problem. This belt is done. That's it. I don't have to tie these. I don't have to fringe them. You're done. Yay. So I hope that's helpful. Please feel free to ask if you have any questions.